and I'm studying fluid dynamics. And the process here is I'm trying to figure out what is the best shape for a cruise ship swimming pool. Hi, my name is Madison Smith, and at Mount Vernon High School, I'm in the computer science class. So Project Lead the Way helps students kind of get their first step in the door to an engineering field. So currently right now I'm using AutoCAD to measure the total square footage of my floor plan to then bring it into 3ds Max. Hi, I'm Micah Coletto with MVTV News. I'm standing outside the door of one of Mount Vernon High School's high-tech academy classrooms where students have access to some amazing technologies. Let's take a look. This state-of-the-art design lab has some of the most sophisticated software in the world, from standard architectural and engineering drawings to complex physics-based animations. Mount Vernon High School students get a broad range of exposure in the many fields of design technology. So when you pick a block up, you can actually feel the physical weight of the block on the haptic as if it's in your hand. And then as soon as you release it, it loosens up and you have your full range of movement again. I am in the networking class this year and I'm working on a project called the Marauder Mirror and see how it works. What time is it? It's 6.18 p.m. Alexa. So this is a 3D scanner. This is different from a regular scanner because it take instead of it being 2D, it's now 3D. So you have a model instead of a, just a 2D uh, sheet of paper. So how this works is you have a cube, and this cube is what will be scanned. So anything in that cube will be scanned. So once you hit play, it starts to scan the model. Then as you walk through, begins to sculpt. Okay, so once you are finished, you can then import your 3D scan object into a modeling software such as 3D Studio Max. This is the Vision Dome. Our Vision Dome is a 10-foot diameter hemispheric screen that Mount Vernon animation students use to display their immersive virtual reality projects. Today, my friend Ben here is going to be flying the DJI Phantom 4. Um, he is going to launch it up and scan the building by taking hundreds and hundreds of pictures using this app called Drone Deploy. Go ahead, Ben. Well, what got me interested in drones was uh, I've always loved to be able to take pictures at extreme um, heights and different angles that you want to be able to do by yourself. And with the drone, that makes that 100% easier. Okay, so they connect to the drone with a radio signal, and you can see it, uh, what you're doing or what the drone's seeing live. So whenever you turn, the camera will turn with the drone, and you can just see what you're doing. I got into flying drones when Mr. Shaver put out a, a request for people to apply for the drone team. He had, had just got a Phantom 4 and he was looking for people to fly for him and I started filming from school. FPV stands for first person view so on your drone when you're flying it it looks like you're floating in the air where the drone's at and it feels like you're kind of just there as the drone. Oh, there we go. Whoa. That's sweet. You can actually like feel the weight of the block. That's pretty cool.